Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted, it is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. The Emirates Stadium in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. Frankly, in theory, but we are expecting this to be fiercely contested. I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full-on, then I'll be happy to watch that. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Hugo Lloris. He's like, oh, shooting chance! He's missed, but by that far... Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Hoiberg. And it's Dele Alli. Now it's Aubameyang. Out to the left it goes. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Real chance! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Arsenal really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Hoist it forward. Balls loose, who's getting there? Ricky Long. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Obama Yang gets up to head it. Oh, she needed a better contact. Tottenham can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. been intercepted and that will come to nothing now it's Ali over to the left chance to shoot and it's played forward breaks on here Tierney goes looking truthfully it was hard to see any better outcome there that's a throw Dyer goes back to base. Keeper sends it forward. It's 
Liverpool for a throw in. Great leap! Well, to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously, increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Partey. Forward it goes. Ricky Lon gets into the right position to intercept. Winks. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tierney battles to win it back. Driving on, he could shoot here. And he heaves it forward. Tierney gets it back. And that's the whistle for half time. Well, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. That they've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. No score in the first half. Has a pop! has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They're obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic one. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It's all very well good. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. <laughs> Arsenal take the lead. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth the treat. Gets wrestled off the ball. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Ricky Lon, chance to break. Lovely bit of skill. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. And here's Aubameyang. Lucas Moura positions himself well and cuts it out. Winks. Hoists it forward. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Shot a goal! Looked a surprise to keep up, but missed the target. Well, it could have been and probably should have been a, a different choice of finish. There was lower space to hit. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Kane plays it out to the wing. That's what has to be done now, no question. And he has been fouled there.
your impression so far, Jim? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to hit one! Partey. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Arsenal are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Decent looking ball. Oh, the rip, he's gone for it! <laughs> A two goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run, and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Arsenal take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Gets it back. Aubameyang. He's had a goal! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Deli Ali drives it forward. Son Kyung Min gets on the end of it. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And here's Kane. He's come loose. And that will be the final act. So they have their win, they had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the results followed inevitably. The end of the game, reflections. Arsenal made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class.